Welcome back to another awesome Action Toys review. Today we're looking at a request. There's a request to review the Taste of Coffee set by Acid Rain. This is the box. Lovely artwork on the front. You can see there. Uh, this is a really nice set. For those of you on the Acid Rain forums on Facebook, uh, there was a story that Kip published about Taste of Coffee, and he asked, maybe I'll, he said rather, maybe I'll make a set about this. Well, yeah, yeah, make a set. And lo and behold, I think it was one and a half, maybe two years later, the set came along, and it is nice. It's a really nice set. So this is the box, nice artwork. Nothing amazing about the box up on that. On the back, it tells you there are two troops inside, two figures. It says set, 118 scale military infantry unit. Uh, fully weathered, weathering detail, sorry, highly completed acid uh, action collectibles, accessories, and wounded soldier parts, two action figures included. So let's have a look. So we have the wall section, first of all. Uh, very nice, don't drop this. You see it says acid rain on the bottom there. Very nice with the plastering coming off the wall, because it's nice, sort of worn, torn, weathered effect. Nice. Uh, it's at an angle and it sits. It doesn't actually sit flat. I think I prefer it if it were flat and sat like that, but it sits like this, which is okay. So we have this. We have two piles of rubble, bricks as well, which come with it. We have, it said, wounded soldier accessory parts. Well, we have a whole heap of things here. We have thighs, which have been... Yeah cut off or blasted off by explosions of some sort. We have arms which are missing their hands, the stumps are there and they are on joints. So it's nice for uh, posing. We have the Soul Command whose eyes been shot out. We have a matching helmet where his eyes been shot out like thus. You can see, okay, uh, very, very good. And if you look in the back of the box, it says, Wounded Head Sculpted by Shady War. So if you know who Shady War is, you can look him up on Facebook, look him up on Instagram. He does some really nice dioramas for Acid Rain and some, and also for like one six scale, I believe, as well. Okay, and then the diorama sculpted by Thomas Wang, it says. Okay, then we have the uh, here we have a torso missing the legs, which can connect. So we've got loads of customization options already. Then we have the regular gas mask uh, heads, two there because there's two troops, two helmets. We have the two rifles and two soldiers, and we have Bob and Damien. Now here we have Bob holding a sack of coffee, little bag of coffee. Damien is holding. Bob's journal. So when I had this posed, I was posing it like this, and then Bob was on this side handing over his get his arm down, sorry. Handing over his, uh, the coffee to over to um, Damien. And their hats were in their helmets were all within put around here. And then I had Bob's rifle just leaning up behind his head against the wall. This is a really, really nice set. I do like this a lot. Lots of nice features. It's not just the fact you've got the diorama pieces and you can put the rubble around to add the extra, extra atmosphere. It's, as I said just a moment ago, the customization options are awesome. Okay, let's look at the figures first and look at some of the customization options. So this is the First time we've seen Damien, so second time we've seen Bob. Let me just move these out the way now. So let's look at the uh, figures first. They're identical apart from the heads. So same articulation, same sculpting and so forth. Same with the soft goods on the wrapping. No difference on that at all. Okay, so we've got some soft goods here, which is really nice. It means it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to do poses and stuff. Uh, with the figures, very nice. Got the webbing here, which doesn't restrict the articulation 
you've got Damien's head. Let's have a look at Damien a bit closer there. Damien's head there, quite nice. It's generally an all-round very, very nice figure, made nicer by these soft goods. Okay, this is the Bob's Journal, see if you can see that there. Just as like a, a small bound little, little book. As you can see there. They've got these standard really good articulation you expect from the Acid Rain World figures, such as the Soul Commander, Argos Inventory, etc. So the double knee joints and so forth. Um, have a look at Bob. This is version 2, Bob. First Bob is on the Bucks release, which I haven't done a review for yet, but I will do one sometime in the near future. So, uh, is the face much different? There's a little difference in the face. It looks more detailed, perhaps. Maybe it's just an illusion from the painting the ink work. So here's Bob here. Uh, lots of people bought quite a few of these because you can troop build, you know, with two in each set, two figures in each set. You can troop build these sort of grey uniform ones, which are really quite nice. And these are fighting near the Soul Command, the um, sorry, Soul Ghosts, Soil Ghosts, I should say. Okay, so this is a nice set. Okay, let's look at some of the customization options. Now these can mix and match with some of the other figures in the Acid Rain world, which is nice. So, uh, both figures come with a normal gas mask uh, hat. You can take Bob's hat off, put on a normal gas mask, a standard gas mask head like you saw on these Soul Commanders. Let me I can stand up a moment. Let's get his foot to go flat. Go on, foot. Okay, that's better. So, let's have him there. Damien, I'll take his head off too. I'll put on the standard uh, head again to make him stand up as well. I can move his gun slightly. Okay, so, so here you have your two standard troopers with their hats on, their helmets on rather, sorry, as well. And it adds a whole new uh, aspect and they have almost two new looking figures which is really great. We look at the uh, Soul Commander head so I put just the Soul Commander head on first and you can have a look at how that looks so it looks like he's been shot through the eye and the helmet on top really nicely done by Shady War there Oops, sorry, let's put that back, up, back on as his head dropped off as well. Okay, so let's have a look again. Okay, this is a problem you get sometimes with the hoods on the Marines as well. It makes it hard to put the heads on when you've got the hats as well. If I take the helmet off and put his head on securely, that problem will cease to exist. Okay, now it's on secure. Okay, so this could be a casualty of war just lying down. If I want to make it a real casualty, then we start mixing and matching some of the other parts. If I take his gun out here, I can give him a new arm. This does come out from the joint here, and now he's not only has he been shot in the eye, he's now missing a hand. He's really been in the wars. Not only that, maybe on the other side. I can take his hip off completely, boom, and now he's, been, he's lost his lower leg as well. He's really been in the wars. So and put his hat, he's uh, splays his legs out slightly, his arms out, he's been shot, his helmet's over here, his gun hasn't been fired, he's stuck beside him. This is someone that's really been... Maybe he's trodden the mine, he's been blown up, he's, he's been shot through the eye, and he's lost an arm as well from the explosion. And then the most extreme version we can do is we can separate the upper body from the lower body. Uh, or not, perhaps, in this case. Let's have a look. And I'm struggling to do that right now, but you can separate the upper from the lower 
and attach the uh, half body. You see, it's easier on this one to do. There we go. So, this body's off, but you won't see this with the uh, soft goods. And now his body's like that in half. It's easy if I do it with a uh, marine figure or something. But you can see there, there are no legs coming out the back of this trooper. And maybe he's on his last bit of energy, his last strength, and he's trying to crawl to find a medic, but he's just going to be dead. Along with his colleague here, his comrade, he's already missing an arm and his lower leg, and you can see he's been shot through the eye on this side here. Okay. This is a really atmospheric piece. Very, very nicely done indeed. And the different combinations you can do for the actual customization on the figures is really, really nice. If you like zombies, you can do zombie parts with half, you know, missing arms, missing legs, half a body. You can imagine a zombie head on this one here. Yeah. It's like a zombie missing half of his body crawling along. It's the standard Soul Commander rifle which we've seen previously, which is a very, very nice uh, weapon. So, uh, this was more expensive than previous sets when it came out, but it is, it is and it was still is very much worth the price. People thought it was a touch expensive, but you get very highly customizable uh, figures with the parts to come with it. There's a nice dio piece here, and you get the roll that adds to the effect, as, long, uh, as well as the book and uh, somewhere else, which now I can't see, the uh, coffee bag here. It's the bag of coffee beans here. You can really do so many different combinations with this. As I said, this is compatible with the marine bodies. It's compatible. Oh, it off there. It's compatible with uh, many other of the body types too, like uh, Tim, for example, and Kino. In fact, what I will do uh, in the video I'll release later, I will do. I will show Kim. Sorry, Kim. Tim, uh, work a laurel, and I'll review that with a uh, modified leg as well. In fact, you give me a moment, I will pause this video and I'll come back and show some of the other options you can do. Okay, and I'm back. So, just a little setup. You've got a trooper kneeling and shooting. Another trooper has lost both his lower legs and his uh, right hand crawling away. Seems to be crawling away from some sort of zombie here, missing his lower body and his left hand. Okay, so lots of different options you have, customization, customization options you have with the Taste of Coffee set. It is a really, really nice uh, set. Lots of opportunities to have a different setup every day, lots and lots of different combinations. So, if you get a chance, do pick one, two, three, or four, five of them up. You will not regret them. They are a very, very good addition to your collection. Stay tuned for more reviews from Awesome Action Toys. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.